worth a click and record. Um, if you wanted to put this up on YouTube, yeah, I think that I think that's the mm-hmm. start. That's the start of it. That's kind of how you go about doing these things. That's how you go about doing these things. I mean, I'm only just learning myself, really, with the whole the whole YouTube thing. But I so think that's how you start. You start with click and record, then what mm, comes after? I don't know. We need to call PewDiePie, give him a call, and we'll speak to him, and then just see see how we get there, where where we need to be. Do you know what I mean? I mean, if I need to say the N word during a stream, I'll happily do it. I don't mind. Hello. Welcome to a beer review. Good thing you yeah. stopped me there. I'm just like, I'm going to grab this and steer it back. There we go. Okay. We're not striking any community guidelines. We're all good. Not it's sure shit. No. It's a beer review. That rhymed. Well done. I didn't think the quality was going to be that high this early <laughs> on in the video. Good work, my friend. So today we are drinking Fifey, a blonde ale from Ovenstone mm. 109. Okay. Is that the, the address? Yes, I think that is the number okay. on the building. That's good. And It'd be helpful if there was a postcode on here. But I'm that's... sure the, okay. the building in the picture is the St. Monan's Windmill. Okay. So, Any you know. historical significance? Mm, probably, yeah, uh... probably, but this is not the channel for that. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> oh, aromas already. Already, okay. Let's have a little sniff. Oh wow, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely got a bit of a, uh, a tanginess to it. That's mm-hmm. really good. Um, so where'd you get these from, Stu? I bought this directly from the chaps themselves. Oh, wow. Yep. Have you tried this stuff before? I have. I've got like a, a Christmas gift set, which was a three pack. And mm-hmm. I think it was like a golden ale. Not this one. They've got three styles. Okay. And I believe it's either two blonde ales and a golden ale or two gold and a blonde. Okay. So... And yeah, they've just got three styles and they seem to stick to it. I guess it's what works for them. Okay. So we'll find out um, if it's any good. But we will. It is. I've I've enjoyed what I've had from them so far. Okay. And the blurb on the back of the bottle is also funny. Okay. Do you want to give it a crack? Yes. Let's get this poured. Why this beer? This bit of the bottle is where we should be telling you that our beer is the finest in the land or that we brew our beer using a blend of Scottish myth and magic. No magic was harmed in the making of this beer. Perhaps an inspiring comment about crafting coastal heritage into every drop. Being from the East Nuka Fife, we prefer to be a bit more understated. No tight trouser hips to craft speak here. <laughs> Just a good, honest, blonde beer made using good, honest techniques in our tidy wee brewery. Enjoy, my friend. Ovenstone 109, the lifeboat of normal in the craft sea of confusion. Okay, wow. Really uh, fighting against the tide, aren't they, with, <laughs> with this bad boy? So I'm so, uh, looking forward to it. What well, an introduction. Like, that, is, like, that is beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Really, talk about, you know, blonde. That's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Right, cheers, man. Cheers. Wow, okay. That's a, that's a pretty per- perfect blonde ale, uh, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, there, there's not... Whilst the, the aromas for the bottle smell like, wow, there's a lot going on here. Mm. And then you take a drink, and not that I'm saying uh, the drink itself doesn't have a lot going on. Mm. It's just a nice, simple blonde ale. Nothing complicated. No, nice. I, I agree. Nice balance to it. Um, quite bitter. Yeah. Nice little bit of hoppiness to it. Definitely, uh, rather refreshing. Um, yes. But yeah, very, very good indeed. How does it compare to the other ones that you've tried? The other ones are just a distant memory. I really need to get back. Try them again. Yes. So I, yes, as I said, I bought these from the the brewery. Uh, when I went along to do some, sorry, when I went along, I did. I didn't to want do, to say anything then. I didn't it want happens to stop all you the in your time, stride. But I did want to laugh. 
can't help. There's something wrong with me. I'm Benjamin Buttoning. Please, can we can we get a so, doctor? In, is there a doctor in the house? I'm in my mid thirties, as of right now, we're just going to start taking you back. It's like enjoy puberty again. Anyway, nothing to do with beer review. ASAP, buddy. Right, let's get on with this. <laughs> let's all put hair on your chest. He's hammered already, ladies and gentlemen. Three sips okay. in. <laughs> lightweight. Completely lightweight. Professional. So, when, have, when have we ever done that on the show? One of these days, Thomas. Let's one, not start one. now, please. These days. So, yeah, uh, I went along and done some filming at the brewery for, like, a future um, Fife Ale... T- Fife... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just go- I'm Bobcat Goldfight now. <laughs> okay, you go with that's it, go with it. it. I'm digging when it. you just hear my voice break, that's <laughs> just par for the course. It's what's supposed to happen, all right? Um, we'll go off and do a separate YouTube video. Of why does he sound funny? People are going to be interested. So, uh, <laughs> but yes, done some film in there, and it was going to be for a Fife Ale Trails along with uh, Fatal Organic Brewery. But as you see on our channel, there is already a Fatal Organic Brewery, like a look inside video. Yes. And that was it. I filmed both sites in the same day. They're quite close. They have five minutes between each other. And the sites are that nice. There's so much, like it's like chalk and cheese. One's like just doing, as it said, Traditional beer, none, none of this hipster nonsense and all that. And the guys at Photo are all about organic, this, that, and the next thing. So yeah. I believe they kind of started the same year, around the same time. They both get along with each other, but they just do completely different styles. We went completely different paths mm. in making their beer. So I have maybe about eight or nine minutes of footage of the... The Ovenstone uh, 109 Brewery. And yeah, I'm going to edit that into a nice, neat little video just for another look inside the brewery video and then use some of the footage from that for a future Five Ale Trails. Brilliant. I look forward to seeing that being uh, the Logger Loss. It's. Oh, aye. What's it's your, it's your It's your loss, guys. It's, it's our game. Being the Logger Log's <laughs> biggest fan. Uh, mm-hmm. I look forward to seeing that. Um, <laughs> I was going to ask you: Is um, golden, you know, golden slash blonde ale something that you've been drinking a bit more of recently, or something that you don't really drink it's, a lot of? It's definitely creeping up. I'm not sure whether it's the fact of beer wars, and yeah. it's always about looking for more variety, different styles, and it always seems to be like a blonde or a golden ale. Mm. will be in my shopping basket so i am having more of them and it's not a style i I don't dislike Mm. i really enjoy trying all the variations of like your traditional ale and it's good when you find one and someone's nailed it the yeah i think what was it inverlumens ocean a refreshing golden ale i think i'm not sure if that was a Try to think if that's like an offshoot of Stuart Brewing or if it is just their own oh, a different brewery themselves. Like a craftier kind of offshoot. Yeah, and their uh, refreshing golden ale was amazing. Very good. So, and it was like, it, I, it's in most Aldi's, Little's, Asda's, and I had it on cask when I was in Edinburgh in April and then saw it in bottle, bought it for Beer Wars, tasted it and I thought, that's perfect. Like this might be m- my go-to golden ale. Just nice, refreshing, quaffable beer. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I, I feel the same. It's not really a style I'd uh, warmed up to in the past, but recently I've had a really good run um, mm-hmm. of, of of golden ales. Um, Adnam's Lighthouse was one that really impressed impressed me. And made me kind of take notice, thinking that maybe this is a style I, I can get into. Yeah. Um, I still haven't had any Adams. Well, you've had Broadside. Oh, okay. Maybe you should listen to season four of the, the Logger Logs. I'd 
I'd Can't recommend it. It's pretty it good. Like. Anyway, that, that's season just three. Like, yeah, but I keep seeing that keg season of ghost shit. Two. But yes, it seems where he's having that that wee Somewhere keg on, on the, the shelf. Website. Yes, just threatening me. The, Go uh, on, yes, <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, it's not a bad beer, though. It's not a bad beer at all. I really like uh, Banks' Sunbeam as well. I, I managed to finally try that like um, a couple of months ago, and that was was a good one, too. So, yeah, it's it's definitely a style that I'm, I'm warming up to a bit more. Mm-hmm. Maybe just I've not had a good run of them in the past, up until recently. Uh, but this is um, this is right up there. Yeah, yeah really, really good. Just a nice, easy drink in Blondale. Definitely, uh, I could see it working well as a session brew scheme. I mean, it's four percent, so it's a bit more. Uh, yeah, it's a bit heavier. A bit more heavier than session. Your, your normal session beers, but it, mm-hmm. it, it, it's so drinkable. I could see it working well as a as yeah. a session beer. But as as one of those breweries where it's right out in the countryside, mm-hmm. where you, there's a, a time lapse video where I recorded. After leaving Futtle and then driving to Ovenstone, and it's just like maybe a one minute video time lapse, just me zipping through the countryside. And it's like sheep, 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 cows, sheep, 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 cows. Little town that's just a street, then sheep, sheep, cows. <laughs> and then eventually, just this brewery in the middle of two fields. Wow, did you have to drive through Noah's Ark or around it to get to there? Well, there was a couple mini roundabouts, but we got there. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. thankfully, not stuck behind a tractor. Bonus. <laughs> so. <laughs> but, yeah. I feel like, obviously, we should have had, like, the history of the brewery. So, like, that that is your, your style when it comes to reviewing beers. That you go into the history of the brewery, their catalogue. But, but we've got a video coming up for that soon. Exactly. So watch this space where you are yeah. right now on the Log Logs channel, most likely. Stay, just stay on that web page for the next, uh, I'd say three months, three to four months. And yeah, there's like a four week turnaround whenever I record something. <laughs> it takes a while. The back history is coming. Don't worry. <laughs> so I get all printed out onto film. Then I get my scissors and some sellotape. Yeah. And then I make the it's movie. It's a long, arduous process, guys, so bear with us, but it'll definitely be worth it. So, uh, final thoughts? Good. Um, it's, it's excellent. quite enjoy it. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do what Tom just did and give it a like. <laughs> <laughs> don't me. Don't, don't pull me into this. Dude. Yes. Don't, don't get um, me involved. <laughs> You see that? You see that like button down there? Smash! Yes, get in there. Just and if you're still angry and just really built up, leave a comment and just put in all caps. Dare you? You should do that. Dare you? See you. See you on the flip side.